Okay guys, so continue tayo dito sa geometric progression. Okay. So, considering meron tayong series of number na 2, 4, 8, 16, and so we have 27, negative 9, 3, and negative 1. So, yung series ng number na to is a geometric progression because of R. No? So, R is what we call as the common ratio. So, once yung series of numbers have a common ratio, that is a geometric progression. Okay? So, yung formula in solving the the common ratio is ito yan. Ito yan. So, yan lang, no? Divide mo lang yung second term to the first term or third term to the second term or fourth term to the third term. Or en all over en minus 1. Okay? So, bali dito, meron tayong r na 4, na? 4 divided by 2 or 8 divided by 2 or 16 divided by 2 kaya ano, hindi mali mm, uh, 4 divided by 2 8 divided by 4 and then 16 divided by 8 so they are all 2 so ganun din dito negative 9 divided by 27 negative 1 third yan ha? Uh, 3 over negative 9 no? that is also a negative 1 third so, ganun pag mag-solve tayo ng common ratio. So, pag yung series of number is meron siyang common ratio. So, under yan ng geometric progression. So, for example, uh, yung mga formulas pala nakagamitin. So, for the last term, in solving for the last term, so, it's just the first term times the common ratio raised to power of n minus 1. Okay? So, yung n is yan yung number of term and a is what we call as the first term. Okay? And in solving for the sum, so, first term lang times 1 minus the common ratio raised to the power of n all over 1 minus r. So, in solving for the common ratio, yun na. No? Second term divided by the first term or the third term divided by the second term. So, let's make an example. Okay. So, bali dito, uh, lagay natin, hmm, ano ba? Ah, ito na lang, patuloy na ko lang ng 2, 4, 8, di ba? We have 16. So, bali ganito. So, meron tayo dito ang first term. So, ito yung first term. Ito yung magiging second term natin. Third term, fourth term, fifth term, sixth term, seventh term, and eighth term. So yan, no? Uh, kunin ko yung sum din para dire-diretso ako. For example, sum ng first up to seven term. So meron tayong 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32 plus 64 plus 128 and that is just equal to so bali ganito no so yung sum ng 1 to 7 is 254 and yung sum from starting from the 4th term up to the 8th term is 496 so example tayo so what if yung problem what if ganito yung problem? Okay, gawin ko ito ng problem. So, yung may guide ako dyan. So, what if yung first term is we have 2? And then, let's say the seventh term is, let's say, 128. So, what could be the value of the fourth term? Okay, and what term is 
let's say 64 for instance what term is 64 uh, ano mm. what is the sum from first term up to the seventh term and what is the sum from fourth term up to the eighth term so balikan yan no? so Given we have the first term that is 2 and the seventh term we have 128. So what would be the fourth term? What term is 64? And what is the sum from the first term up to the seventh term? And what is the sum from the fourth term up to the eighth term? Okay. So first nothing ko compute in is yung uh oh, check on the, no? what is the common difference and the common ratio rather common ratio. Yung ganyan, no? So, solve natin yung problem na to. Solution. So, meron tayong given na uh, first term. And then, meron tayong given na uh, seventh term. Okay? So, base dito, meron tayong formula for EN. That is just E1. Di ba? Kung babalikan natin dito. E1, RN minus 1. Na? So, yan yung gagamitin natin. A1, R, N, minus 1. So, substitute natin. We have 128. First term is we have 2. Common ratio is unknown. Then, N is 7. Di ba? E, N, T. So, 7 yung, 7 yung, ano natin. No? Okay, galit ako na lang. So, A7, A1, R. So, since yung N natin is 7. So, 7 minus 1. Okay. And we have the 7 term, we have 128, 2, so yung R is just equal to, so let's solve that one. Therefore, we have a common ratio of 2. Okay, so yan na yung sagot. And next is what is the fourth term? So pwedeng ganun pa rin yung formula, EN, A1, RN, minus 1, no? So, yung tinatanong niya, what is the fourth term? First term, R. Uh, yung N natin is 4. So, 4 yun na yung gagamitin ko dito. Okay? So, therefore, we will have, uh, we have the fourth term that is, ayan yung pala yung tinatanong. So, fourth term, unknown. Then, we have the first term, 2. We have 2, 4, minus 1. So, therefore, this is just equal to 2 times 2 raised to the power of 4 minus 1 and that is just equal to 16 so 16 na yung so, so may kita natin na uh, yung common ratio nito alam natin 2 then sa fourth term alam natin that is 16 so tama yung sagot uh, what if what if hindi ganito yung hindi ito yung ginamit mo no? so pwede pa rin pwede pa rin what if 7 yung ginamit ko pwede rin ba so, pwede natin gamitin yung formula. Mas general ito. EM, RN minus M. Provided na hindi first term yung dito. So, let's say A7. Let's say A4. Pwede rin ba ito? So, R. Then, we have 7 minus 4. 7 minus 4. Try lang natin. Yung 7 term, we have 128. Fourth term is we have 16. Common. Ah, hindi. Yung tinatanong bali is yung fourth term. So, yung R is, alam natin, 2, 7 minus 4. And let's see if this is just equal to, to 16. So, 128 of the alpha x, 2 raised to the power of 7 minus 4. Therefore, this is just equal to 16. Ayan. Na. So, pwede mong gamitin to. Okay. As alternative okay so yun no? next what term is 64 
so what term is 64 so yung tinatanong niya dito is ano yung value ng n no? so ito pa rin yung gamitin natin we have the first term r n minus 1 so yung tinatanong niya is ano yung value ng n no? so bali yung last term so what would be the value of n if e n is 64 parang ganun no? parang ganito yung problem so we have 64 uh, first term is 2 uh, common ratio is 2 then we have n minus 1 Thus, we have the value of n minus 1, and that is just 64 of 2 times 2 raised to power of uh, alpha x minus 1, shift solve for x, so we have 6. So, may kita natin dito na 64 is really at the 6 term. Okay, so tama yung sagot. So, next, uh, ano daw yung sum from first term up to d? 7 term okay 7 term so kung gagamitan natin ng formula na yan di ba gagamitan ng formula pwede rin na try natin so we have uh, a1 times 1 minus r ng n 1 minus r okay so yung sum natin since start with 1 so wala kong problema so pwede ko rin sabihin na s ng 7 yan na so, we have the first term, 2, 1 minus yung r, we have common ratio of 2, we have 7, 1 minus 2. So, therefore, this is just equal to 2 times 1 minus 2 raised to the power of 7, 1 minus 2. And we have 254, ayan. Pareho, 254. So, yung sum is just 254. So, next problem is, uh, ano daw yung sum from the 4th term up to the 8th term? Okay. So, sum from the 4th term up to the 8th term. Okay. So, alam natin yung formula for for sum is just a1 di ba? 1 minus r n 1 minus r uh, take note, okay ito na formula pag nag start siya ng 1, no? from 1 parang ganun, from 1 to n, no? pero pag nag start siya ng 4 which is in d1 so, medyo may modify ka pa, no? So, this needs modification. So, kailangan natin siyang modify So, yung gagawin natin, so, since 4 siya nag-start, di ba? Kung, it, kung ito 1 siya nag-start, so, A1 dito. So, kung 4 siya nag-start, bali, 4th term, no? 4th term, dito first term, dito first term siya nag-start sa so first term. First term up to seven term, no? yeah, seven term. Okay, so first term, first term. Pero dito since four term to nag start, so dapat ito then might be, uh, must be, four term. Okay, so take note with that. Yung n, yung n. Kung dito is one to seven, di ba? Kung bibili ang natin yan, first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term. Gusto ko maintindihan yun talaga yung formula, no? Para so, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, bali, lahat is meron siyang 7 terms. Yan, yan. Yan yung n. Okay? Kaya 7 yung ginamit natin. Pag dito naman, sa 4th term, so meron tayong a4, a5, a6, a7, a8. May kita natin na meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5. Terms. So, ibig sabihin, yung n dito must be equal to 5. Okay? Klaro? Klaro. Tanggalin ka na yan. So, tanggalin ka na to. Kasi, nadudumihan yung ano ko. At least, naintindihan nyo na. Ano? Yan lang yung gusto kong ipakita. So, we will have now the a4 ng 1 minus r raised to power 5 
and then 1 minus r. So, substitute natin yung value. Alam natin yung fourth term na compute natin. Yan, that is 16. Ito yan. Okay. So, 16 times, diba? Ah, dito na lang. 16 times 1 minus r, which is 2, raised to the power of 5, all over 1 minus 2. Therefore, this is just equal to 4, 9, 6. And this is now the answer. Okay? So, 4, 9, So, may kita natin na pareho. So, I think ito lang guys for ano, uh, introduction ng geometric progression. So, continue na lang tayo sa next na video. Thank you.